Mabuhay! I am Blessy. Welcome to the Materials Development Laboratory. Let's go inside. Carlo, one of our researchers, will be our tour guide. Welcome to the lobby or receiving area where visitors or clients are accommodated. While waiting, our guests can look at the different 3D printed products and R&D outputs showcased at our display or exhibit area. Manned by a group of competent staff from various technical disciplines, the MATDEV Lab provides a platform to achieve technological innovations and breakthroughs in additive manufacturing through in-depth research and development. Here, MATDEV's researchers are situated. This room also houses workstation computers capable of intensive design and simulation programs such as MSC and SOLIDWORKS. Unlike conventional manufacturing techniques, 3D printing is well suited for printing complex shapes or geometries using less material. Almost all ideas can therefore be turned into physical objects. To realize this, the MathDev Lab has tools in designing, 3D modeling, and simulation using computer-aided designs or CAD, such as SOLIDWORKS and MSC. Let us now visit the first lab, the FDM Laboratory. Let us now take a look at what's inside. Hi, I'm Maris. The Composer 350 and 450 are compact. The slab filament makers to create your own professional materials. The Composer 350 can handle up to 350 temperature, so which means it's uh, relatively used for polylactic acid or PLA and ABS or any other low temperature thermoplastic materials. On the other hand, we have the 450 and can process PEK, PETG, PEK, PET, or PETG, uh, thermoplastic polyurethane, and thermoplastic elastomer. So actually, our 3D demo uh, composer 350 and 450, it has uh, mixing parameters, which can you can add more materials and additives. So it is also designed for effortless operation, it is a very simple interface, automatic net spooling, and industrial grade components. All packed inside a compact uh, silver powder coated interior, something like this one, and the powder to create your own customized 3D printing filament. Now at your own fingertips. The Precision 350 is a compact tabletop single screw extruder also that enables quality extrusion of consumer materials such as polylactic acid, uh, acrylobutadiene styrene or ABS. It's also possible for use for polyethylene and other low temperature. And this 3D precision screw, it offers a faster extrusion speed and CD uh, filament flow. And uh, as a result, more precise filament diameter we can produce here. It includes a simple interface and presents to make it accessible to everyone. Equipped with the next generation automatic net spooling, we have this spooling here. This prevents downtime 
during printing. Built in with a strong and durable components, a long productive lifetime is assured for this particular uh, 3D Devo Precession 350. Hi, I'm Mark. This year, the shredded shredder has twin capabilities of a shredder and a granulator. Together, processing as much as 5 kilograms of material per hour. Old plastics can be converted into high-quality 3D printing granules of any desired size in just one run. Designed for effortless operation, Shredit features accessible compartments that facilitate cleaning, material changing, and filter screen replacement of our custom grain sizes. Hi, I'm Alvin, and this is the Creality Ender 3 Pro. It is an affordable fused deposition modeling or FDM 3D printer which provides a decent build volume, magnetic bed, a power recovery mode, and a tight filament pathway that makes it easier to work with flexible materials. Common thermoplastic filaments such as PLA, wood composite, and TPU can be printed using this machine. Hi, I'm Buds, and this is Ultimaker S5. It's also an FDM type. 3D printer that uses filament extrusion technology. In here, a thermoplastic filament material such as polylactic acid and ABS is extruded through a nozzle and onto a build plate. The nozzle follows a predetermined path and extrudes the material layer by layer. Ultimaker is distinguished for having a dual extruder feature. Hi, I'm Marlo. This is the FDM printer Markforge Mark II. Mark Probe Mark II is a special type 3D printer known for its fused filament fabrication or FFF and continuous fiber reinforcement or CFR. It uses microcarbon fiber filled with nylon for high strength material. Aside from carbon fiber, it also supports other fibers such as Kevlar, fiberglass, and high strength, high temperature fiberglass. Hi, I'm MM. This is the Intem C-Span Mat Pro 410. It is also an FDM type 3D printer and be used for the printing of high performance and engineering materials such as PEEK and PEI. Because of its high temperature dual extruder that can reach up to 500 degrees centigrade. Next is the Selective Laser Sintering Lab or SLS Lab. Come on, let's get inside. Hi, I'm Drew, and this is the Sinterate Laser Pro. The Sinterate Laser Pro is a selective laser sintering 3D printer that uses powder bed fusion technology. It uses a laser beam as thermal source, which induces fusion between the particles by a plastic powder one layer at a time. Unlike any other printer, the Sinterate Laser Pro requires no support structures. Hi, I'm Marvin. The Artex Space Spider is the ultimate industrial 3D scanner of methodological accuracy. The Artex Space Spider is a high-resolution 3D scanner based on blue light technology. It is ideal for capturing small objects or intricate details of large industrial objects, all with high resolution. The Space Spider offers extreme accuracy and brilliant color. It is ideal for molding parts, PCBs, keys, coins, or even human parts. It offers new options for reverse engineering, quality control, product design, and manufacturing. Let us now visit the Characterization Laboratory. Hi, I'm Josie. I'm presenting to you the Itachi DMA 
7,100. The Dynamic Mechanical Analyzer, or DMA, is used to characterize the viscoelastic behavior of polymers. A sinusoidal stress is applied and the strain in the materials is measured, allowing one to determine the storage and the loss moduli. The temperature of the sample or the frequency of the stress are often varied, leading to variation in the moduli. This approach can be used to locate the glass transition temperature of the material as well as to identify transitions corresponding to other molecular motions. Hi, I'm Lumen and this is our digital microscope VHS 7000 by Kians. Kians VHS 7000 is a digital microscope with a large depth of field and advanced measurement capabilities for inspection and failure analysis. It was developed to improve microscopic observation through the use of adaptive lightning and focusing. It enables observation methods and three-dimensional analysis. Its magnification power can reach up to 2,000 times. The multi-lighting function enables accurate observation of previously unseen surface details such as minute cracks or defects. Real-time deep composition enables the sample is always in focus and the navigation window ensures the user knows exactly what portion of the sample they are observing even at high magnification. This is the Steer Lithography Apparatus Lab or SLA Laboratory. Hi, I'm Joanne. And these are the Form Labs Form 2 Stereolithography 3D Printers. It uses bat photopolymerization technology wherein a liquid resin is exposed to a single point laser and undergoes a chemical reaction to become solid. It has a build volume of 5.7 by 5.7 by 6.9 inches with up to 25 microns layer resolution. MatDev has two form labs SLA units. One is intended for polymer and another is dedicated for ceramic materials. Hello, I'm Mar. This is a kerogenic meal. It is tailored for great kerogenic grinding. The grinding jar is continually supplied with liquid nitrogen from the integrated cooling system before and during the grinding process. Thus, the sample is brittle and volatile components are preserved. The liquid nitrogen circulates throughout the system and is continually replenished in the exact amount allowing to keep the temperatures at negative 196 degrees Celsius. This is used to pulverize polymeric materials. Hi, I'm Jen. Planetary ball mills are used whenever the highest degree of fineness is required. Apart from the classical mixing and size reduction processes, the mills are also capable of colloidal grinding and mechanical alloying. The extremely high centrifugal forces of meal result in a very high pulverization energy and therefore shorter grinding time. This PN200 is a very convenient benchtop model with two grinding stations, which can process familiar additive materials such as alloys, bentonite, bones, carbon fibers, cellulose, ceramics, clay, mineral, glass, limestone, wood, and many more. Let us now go to the room where we can find a spheroidizer. Hi, I'm Persia. A first in the Philippines, MatDev now has the Tecna Tech 15 spheroidizing machine. The spheroidization improves powder flowing properties, providing a more homogeneous and stable flow while feeding. 
This then allows flow to run at faster or slower rates without clogging problems and translates into better material for powder metallurgy applications, additive manufacturing, and advanced coating technology. Hi, I'm Rose. MATNEV has the Benz Mounted Carbolite General Laboratory High Temperature Furnace model, having high quality molybdenum diesel side heating elements, allowing to reach a 1700 degrees centigrade maximum operating temperature. Its capacity ranges from 4 to 10 liters. Its vertical lift door keeps the heated surface away from the user. It has an advanced refractory interior used in combination with energy-efficient low thermal mass insulation. Through AMSEN, various stakeholders can leverage on these tremendous potentials of additive manufacturing to usher breakthroughs in key areas such as electronics, aerospace, agriculture, pharmaceutical and healthcare, automotive, and consumer products. Imagine it! Bring it! Yeah.